Practice problem one associated with sample problem B. How fast must a truck travel to stay beneath an airplane that is moving 105 kilometers per hour at an angle of 25 degrees to the ground? So we have an airplane. Uh, again, I'm going to define my coordinate system here. Plus, plus, minus, minus. So I have our plane. 105 kilometers per hour. Traveling uh, this velocity at an angle of 20, what is it, 25 degrees from the horizontal. So here is a resultant. Here is x component. Here is a y component. And so what we're being asked to do here is to look for the, see, uh, how fast must a truck travel? So again, you guys know that trucks don't fly. It's going to be traveling along the horizontal, that x component. And so if essentially, in terms of the math, what we're being asked to do is find out what the x component of this resultant is, okay? To, to resolve this resultant into its x component specifically. Actually, number two will We'll, uh, we'll find the, the y component, but for number one, we're just going to stick with the, with the x component. <clears throat> so this is a velocity. So I'm actually going to represent this as the velocity of the x component. Okay, And conceptually, I'm looking for the x component of this vector at this angle. And so I have two pieces of information that I have to take into account here. So I'm using the X component, which is a specific, I don't think subset is the right word, but it's relative to this overall velocity here. So I have to compare it to the original velocity, but the angle at which this velocity is taking place has a significant bearing it's the, it's the other piece of information that I need to figure out, um, you know, the, the size, the magnitude of these of these uh, component vectors. So I need to compare this with the cosine of the angle, and this is all I'm going to do. So my my velocity of the x component is the the velocity of the the, the resultant. multiplied by the cosine of the angle, which is 25 degrees. And again, uh, two significant figures, right? Two significant figures here for the answer. So I'm going to round this to 95 kilometers per hour. Um, <clears throat> here, I, I, I would suggest that you be safe and include a direction. Here you don't really need to because we're asking specifically for the horizontal component. So it's in the question, but just in general, you don't wanna leave it up to the teacher's preference. You want to simply provide the information. Anything that you know how to do, show, just in general. So uh, the final answer that I'll put here is 95 kilometers per hour in the horizontal direction.